Hi, in this video we'll be talking about every on-screen live-action black suit worn by Superman. In the comics, a black suit was first donned by Superman after emerging from the Kryptonian regeneration matrix after his supposed death. It functions as a recovery suit worn to speed up solar energy absorption when his power is weakened. In live action, many versions of the black Superman suit have appeared and for various reasons and purposes. Let's head to the first one. In the TV series Lois and Clark The New Adventures of Superman, in the season 3 finale that aired in 1996, Dean Cain wore a capeless black suit with a blue Superman emblem as he reached New Krypton to become its ruler. In the 2006 Superman Returns film, there exists a not well-known deleted scene of Brandon Rouse sporting a dark Superman suit. The scene was supposed to be an intro to the film, showing Superman's return to Krypton, which has become a dead planet. It seemed like Superman wore that alternate suit during his space travel. Next, in the Smallville TV series at the start of season 9 which aired in 2009, Tom Waiting's Clark Kent wore dark clothing during his early days as the Blur in Metropolis. It included a cape-like trench coat and his family symbol on his chest in white. The dark theme might be alluding to the fact that he was still mourning over Jimmy Olsen's death. In the 2013 Man of Steel film, Henry Cavill's Superman wore a black version of his normal suit during the during the nightmare sequence with General Zod. It is said that his black suit was planned to make a return in the 2017 Justice League film, but was eventually cut off, and we only get to see a glimpse of it in a deleted scene where he returns to the Kryptonian ship after his resurrection. Next, in the Arrow vs. 2018 Elseworlds crossover event, as featured on The Flash, Arrow and Supergirl, we get to see Tyler Hoechlin in a black Superman suit. Instead of it being Clark Kent, this evil Superman is Dr. John Deegan, who warped reality using the Book of Destiny, giving himself the looks and the powers of Superman. Apart from the change in colour, the suit is different as it has a high collar covering the neck. Next is a dishonourable mention. We have Nuclear Man from Superman 4, which came out in 1987. We reluctantly have to include this abomination of a character. Although he's not Superman, Nuclear Man was created using Superman's DNA, which technically makes him Superman's clone. And since he's in black, so yeah. So that's the end of our video. What other Superman black suits do you wish to see on screen, live action, in the future? Leave a comment and thanks for watching.